Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be extracting the cadmium out of a NICAD battery. Now, to be honest, I've never really seen a definitive extraction of cadmium from really anything on the internet, and I thought I might be the first one. So, what we have here is a NICAD battery. This is one of three that was in a uh, little... Uh, it was in a, a phone battery that I just bought at a hardware store. Uh, you got to make sure it's not uh, NIMH or nickel metal hydride, because that will not work. It has absolutely no cadmium in it, and it's kind of useless for this purpose. You need a NICAD battery or NICD. This contains cadmium, but there isn't really a good way to tell what the cadmium looks like in these, because there's three different materials that are contained inside of this. And today, I'm going to show you which one is cadmium. Now, I don't plan on extracting um, the actual metal, per se, from the uh, battery, but I'm just going to make a compound of cadmium, cadmium carbonate. Let's get to it. <coughs> now, before I open up that battery whatsoever, I need to say this. It's mandatory that you wear gloves during this procedure. Cadmium and its compounds are very, very toxic and carcinogenic, so you absolutely cannot have them getting on your skin or in your eyes. Uh, and for that case, I suggest you do wear goggles for this. Now, with all that being said, let's open up this battery. Okay, so that was pretty dangerous. I nicked my glove in a few places, but luckily it didn't reach the skin. Um, so after replacing my gloves, we're left with this thing. And this is the inside of the battery. So there's three parts to this. There is this wire, sort of, not wire, but like, ooh, like a mesh, basically. And there's the gray solid coating it and then there is this black substance and what I'm going to do now is explain what all these things are so this black substance is nickel oxyhydroxide and this is not what we want we don't need it we can go ahead and throw it away okay so you may be thinking, well, there's only two things left. What could it be? Um, and that's a pretty good question because I kind of messed it up the first time myself. I thought that this wire mesh, I keep saying wire mesh, just this what? metal mesh, I thought that was the cadmium. It's not. The cadmium is the gray solid that you see coating the mesh. So what you're going to want to do now is unroll the mesh and scrape off the cadmium. For time's sake, I'll go ahead and skip to that. Okay, now we gotta work fast. So, get a beaker and add probably uh, one half centimeter of distilled water and add the cadmium to it. The purpose of doing this is to prevent the cadmium oxidizing. This cadmium is a very fine powder and just left out, it will burn. Actually, it's pyrophoric. Uh, to an extent, and it will turn brown with the formation of cadmium uh, monoxide. And we don't want that, so we put it under water for the purpose of protecting it from oxidation. And so what we can do now is convert this cadmium into a salt. Oh, before we do that, I should probably mention what this is. Um, I thought this was cadmium at first, and it turns out it's just iron. I found out it's uh, just iron by uh, dissolving it in... I, I tried both hydrochloric and nitric acid. They both worked the same. Um, but I did the thiocyanate test on it, and it uh, basically resulted in a, uh, a positive result uh, for iron. It turned rose red or blood red. Uh, indicating, you know, that there was iron present. So I found, you know, of course this isn't cadmium. So fuck it. Throw it away. Uh, I don't care. 
Why are you bullying me? Now let's move on to the salt. So the next step is to turn the cadmium metal into a salt. So I have it in a beaker here, I've just added a stir bar, and what I'm going to do now is turn on slow stirring and then add in enough hydrochloric acid so that it does not react with the cadmium anymore. What we're doing here is we are turning the cadmium metal into cadmium chloride. Um, the reaction of that is cadmium and hydrochloric acid react to form the cadmium 2 chloride and hydrogen gas. So when this is all done dissolving, and after I add more hydrochloric acid, we can come back and continue on with the next step. So now we're left with a solution that contains cadmium chloride and a little bit of excess cadmium. Now this just needs to be filtered. In the flask below we'll be left with a solution of pretty nice quality cadmium 2 chloride. Then we can go ahead on to the next step which is converting this into the carbonate. So now with this cadmium chloride solution, we can go ahead and slowly add in small portions a saturated, or not saturated, but concentrated sodium carbonate solution. Make sure to put a watch glass or something else like a round bottom flask on top to limit the amount of mist that may come up into the air. What we're forming here now is cadmium carbonate, carbon dioxide, and sodium chloride. Cadmium carbonate is an insoluble white solid, which you may be seeing forming transiently. As the solution is still acidic, it's only going to be there for a short period of time. Once the solution becomes more alkaline, it should start precipitating out. Because I'm low on sodium carbonate solution, I'm going to go ahead and save it and make sure we have all the... Uh, cadmium carbonate we can, I'm going to go ahead and titrate the solution with some sodium hydroxide solution. So now it's sufficiently alkaline, I'd say, and so much so even that there's a little bit of cadmium hydroxide precipitated out, but that's no real problem here. So I'm going to go ahead and add the sodium carbonate solution, and we should see the cadmium carbonate precipitating out as a white solid. Very nice. What we can do now is filter this to obtain pure, or relatively uh, speaking, under the circumstances of getting cadmium from a battery, uh, cadmium carbonate. And it should be a white solid that is fairly dense, and it shouldn't be very soluble in water uh, whatsoever. Uh, we can, what you can do from there is react with any acids to form whatever salt you like, and then continue on uh, exploring more cadmium chemistry. So, this was the extraction of cadmium from a NICAD battery. I really hope you enjoyed. You can like if you want to, subscribe if you want to, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.